hey guys uh, welcome back so let's see our playbook in action so first of all i'm going to uh, run it manually so let me just show you like uh, simply you can click like you can click on any particular incident and you can go to action and from here you can select run playbook so it will open whatever you know a playbook you have created or logic apps you have created within sentinel environment so i have this one azure open ai sentinel uh, i will click on run and it will trigger the playbook and then uh, you know it will uh, do whatever steps you know are written in this particular playbook so we will going to see that later uh, after uh, this particular you know explanation i will show you how you can create an automation rule and it will run for each and every incident so once you are done uh, with running your particular playbook you can click on that incident and you can click on view full details and you will see what exactly it does you know how it can help us to you know get those incidents you know recommendations and you know comments about uh, the mitre framework tactics so if you go to uh, task after running that particular uh, uh, you know logic app or playbook you will see there are some task added for this particular incident which is failed login attempt to azure portal so we will see what kind of you know task it has added so you can see task from azure open ai so these are the steps like you know you can take for this particular incident like you can evaluate evaluate the user account that logged in and attempt to identify pattern in the data determine if any malicious acti activity has taken place such as you know phishing or you know malicious link so all these you know recommendations or steps which you can use to mitigate this particular alert has been added from azure open ai and it is you know very helpful and in most of the scenarios where your l1 l2 you know are sitting in 24/7 and you know trying to triage those you know particular incidents and they don't have you know idea where to go where to search simply they can come here and get a very good detailed you know step by step recommendation on what they should do similarly this is example kql query created by open ai playbook again so all these queries are recommended uh, to run and check relevant information in case of this particular alert so you see the value i mean it's very helpful whenever you are experiencing some kind of incident you know you are not sure what kind of a query you need to run what kind of a signals things you know protocols you need to look in so it's a very good you know uh, information to have first hand that you know you need to do this do this do this and you know we have the queries as well that is the best part of it you know i have experienced it uh, you know i mean in a critical situation you have steps you know you have kql queries where you need to go and you know where in, what exact information you need to check and definitely you can check all those things you know make your our uh, notes you know what exactly is happening make an incident response kind of a plan so it's you know very helpful you know in critical scenarios where you know quick response is required so yeah i mean that's the value add from this particular you know automation uh, with open ai uh, the other thing is does apart from giving us task or you know recommendations uh, uh, about those particular incident it adds you know uh, uh the information about mitre frame tactics so these are again i mean mitre frame tactics are very useful whenever you are investigating any particular incident so basically you can use mitre frame tactics to identify which you know stays which exact stays the adversary is in right now so this one uh, like we can see that you know this is a uh, uh, credential access i mean this particular alert comes under the category of credential access so here it has defined credential access so you can see the credential access tactic is a type of attack that is used to gain access to privileged accounts so something like that if multiple you know uh, credential access or you know multiple te techniques were there it would you know uh, define uh, those tactics as well so this is uh, that playbook in action and you can see the value like you know you are getting a very you know broader insights to to your particular incident and you know uh, it's like the actual scenario which i have seen you know when it is used mostly you know uh, soc soc teams are monitoring this 24/7 your you know senior guys or l3 guys you know out of office and 
you know i mean some l1 level of uh, persons are monitoring your sock you know multiple sock environment so this is helpful for you know them as well to at least get started and if they see something you know suspicious definitely they can consult it with you know l3 or you know senior uh, responders so yeah, i mean i have found this very useful in, in in multiple scenarios and i hope this you know adds values value to your incident response plan as well okay so i mean that's how it add value uh, into particular sock handling uh, i was about to show you that you know how you can run this automatically for each and every incident so let me quickly show you it's fairly simple as well you just need to go to automation and then you need to create a automation rule simply so i will go to automation i will create a automation rule here and uh, i will provide the uh, default options uh, like the name and the trigger and all so i will say azure open ai playbook just a second playbook uh, rule or you know whatever name you want to give it you can give we don't need to change anything here in actions we will click you know run a playbook and we will select our you know open ai playbook and uh, we would don't want to expire this particular rule and i will hit apply so it is going to create a automation rule and what will happen from now on whenever there will be a particular incident this playbook will automatically triggered and it will add all those task recommendation kql query mitre frame tactics description all those things by default for each and every incident so this is how you can run this automatically for whatever incidents are coming in throughout the day in your environment so yeah that was the basic idea behind this particular video to video to show uh, the value add from this particular uh, you know video in terms of incident response and planning and how you can create an automation rule that it it is run on you know each and every instance whenever there is a incident uh, so yeah that would be all for this particular video uh, i hope uh, you have learned something and thank you so much for watching any